Hey guys, it's Kira and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Saturday it was the final of Strictly Come Dancing and unfortunately Harvey and Jeanette didn't win like I wanted them to however I thought it would be fun to rank all of their routines so that is what I'm going to be doing today. Disclaimer yes I am a dancer but I'm not a ballroom dancer unfortunately as much as I would love to be and I don't know much about ballroom dancing I'm just judging it off the song how creative the dance was how much I like the choreography if it was complicated choreography and similar sorts of subjects. So in 10th place I have Harvey and Jeanette's Rumba, which is to the song Only You. I thought this dance was kind of cute, but I'm not gonna lie, the Rumba was not Harvey's best style. I don't think it portrayed his best aspects of his dancing at all and there was points where he just looked a bit stiff and it didn't really flow so I get Craig's points that he says about when he turned he just stopped and he didn't flow it and I 100% agree with that point because it just wasn't him and because it wasn't him he wasn't doing it to the best of his ability well obviously he was trying his best but it couldn't really have gone much better because it just didn't suit him and it wasn't his dance style but apart from that, I thought it was a really cute dance, and I love the snow globe at the beginning. Number nine, we have the cha-cha-cha, which was to Don't Go Breaking My Heart. This was movie week, and they were dressed up as Romeo and Juliet, um, first of all, the song Don't Go Breaking My Heart, I actually really like that song, I think it's a cute song, I thought it was a good song choice, I was like, oh, this is going to be a good dance. I watched it, and it wasn't my favourite. First of all, the costumes were off-putting, I thought Jeanette looked really cute, but Harvey in that No Mio outfit just wasn't a look, I wasn't enjoying it very much. Um, so that was the first part of it that I wasn't too keen on, but then, the dancing wasn't my favourite, um, as far as I can remember, this was their lowest scoring dance, and I can see why. Um, it just wasn't really for me. I didn't really enjoy it that much. Um, yes, it was a good try, and it was nice, and it was cute, but it wasn't really the best technically. At number eight, we have the tango, which was to the song Golden by Harry Styles. <laughs> I don't know whether this is ranked so low purely because of my dislike for Harry Styles or whether I genuinely didn't like the routine, but I think it's a mixture of both. Yes, the whole of the internet community is about to attack me, but no, I do not like Harry Styles or One Direction. Well, I like Niall Horan, but apart from that, I don't really like any of the One Direction members or Harry Styles. This song I find a bit annoying, and you know that da 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 that, I don't like that bit. Besides the song choice, which wasn't my favourite song choice in the world, obviously, um, it just wasn't my favourite dance. It gave me Joe Sug Pasadoble vibes, and I don't know why, because it was a tango. I thought the costumes were cool. Um, the choreography was very good. However, I just didn't think it was, it suited Harvey that much. As you'll be able to tell from the dancers that I've ranked higher in the list, you'll know that Harvey is better suited to the more upbeat sort of dance routines. It wasn't really like a fun, happy dance where you're like jolly and dancing around like, woo! He was just like all strong and duh, duh, duh. And it just, it just, I didn't like it on him. But I still think the dance was very good. Okay, so number seven was the Charleston, which is the song Another Day of Sun. Oh, 
I really didn't like the song choice. It's not my favourite song in the world. I can't remember if this was a TikTok song. I think it was and that's why it annoys me because I just hate TikTok. The reason I have put it higher than the other songs that I did like is because I love the Charleston. One of my favourite Strictly Dance styles and I really did like the dance and the choreography was very very good so I want to award them for that. I really did like the choreography and the routine was very well portrayed. In sixth place I have put the American Smooth which was One Singular Sensation from Musicals Week. It was also their final dance of the series. Singular sensation every little step she takes I did really really like this dance. At first I didn't really like it because I'm not too keen on that song. However, Harvey, you could really tell Harvey was enjoying it and I love the sparkly outfits. Like at first I was like, mm, that's a bit too excessive, but it worked, you know. I did enjoy the outfits. I thought that was pretty good. Um, I also love the choreography and the routine. It looked like a really fun dance to do and it looked very enjoyable and I can tell Harvey was ecstatic with how it went because he just loved it. In fifth place, I have the show dance, which was to the song Boogie Wonderland. <laughs> now, I'm not too keen on this song again. However, it's okay. I don't mind the song. But the routine and the choreography, in my opinion, was incredible. I loved the choreography. I loved the storyline and the costumes. Oh my gosh, the costumes for the show dance. I was in love with. I really, really liked this dance. And I think it was a great piece of choreography to do for the show dance. And I was really, really, really happy when I saw it. Like, I literally, I remember watching it and I was just sat there and I was beaming like I was so happy they both looked so happy they were living life they had the biggest smiles and the choreography was incredible and I just love that dance in fourth place we have the street slash commercial dance which was sky full of stars <laughs> Um, I like the song choice for like the first time ever. I like a song? <gasps> no, but yeah, I really did like the song choice. And this was, if you didn't know, this was Harvey's first dance where he got 30 out of 30. It was also the first full scoring dance of the series. And I really did like it. It was a very Harvey sort of dance. Like, um, Harvey is a singer. I've seen him live several times. He dances when he performs and that is the sort of style he would do i loved the upbeat section of the song but yeah i really did like that dance i really think it suited harvey and it was just very well portrayed. I really really did like it and I think he really liked it too. Um, I was very happy for him to have got 30 out of 30 on that and also Jeanette. I love Jeanette so 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 much. We're getting a bit higher up now so third place I have the Viennese Waltz which was Stuck With You by Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber. <laughs> I'm not too keen on this song, however, the song, the way it was done on Strictly, I loved. I thought it was adorable. The dance, I loved. Jeanette looked like a princess. She looked so, so beautiful. 
and I thought the choreography was great. Yes, it wasn't the upbeat, fun sort of dance that Harvey would, in my opinion, be best at. However, I really think he did pull it off. He looked so adorable in that little suit and he just looked so good. He was twirling around everywhere. He had the biggest smile on his face and he, it looked really, really good. And I really, really did like it. And I just thought it was so cute. And then the bit at the end where they touched noses, oh, I can't even do that, so adorable. Okay, second place was the Jive to Faith, which was also the judges' choice dance for their first dance of the final. I really, really enjoyed this dance. This was their week one dance, so Harvey's first dance on Strictly, and I loved it. I didn't know the song very well, but I loved the song. It was very happy, it was very upbeat. The Jive is a really, really fun dance, and I loved watching Harvey perform that dance because he was just living life. He was having the best time and I really, really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good dance and I'm really glad that they got to do it again in the final. Okay, so lastly is the Salsa to Dynamite by BTS. <laughs> Now, I am not a BTS fan at all, but this song, I am, um, I love this song. Also, the salsa is my favourite dance style. So salsa and a song I love together is incredible. That just makes me so happy. And this dance, I loved it, especially the bit where Jeanette's turning on her feet. Oh, and the build up and she's just, she's just spinning, she's just spinning. And Harvey's just there like, woo, woo, I love it. So good. Dynamite. It's so good. I really, really like that bit. <laughs> I love the whole dance, but that bit is just a top-notch area for me. I'm very in love with that bit. But yes, I really, really, really enjoyed this dance. I would have loved to see them do it again as their final dance. However, they didn't. And I just have to live with that fact. I just have to live with it. But yeah, I really, really did like that song choice. I really, really, really loved the routine. I thought the choreography was amazing. Well done again, Jeanette, you are a queen. And I just really enjoyed it. I thought it was incredible. And there's not really much more I can say about it. It was just insane. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Whether you disagree or agree, or ever so slightly agree, or neither agree nor disagree with my ranking. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you understand my point of view, and if you don't, get in a bin. I'm joking, if you don't, it's fine, everybody has their own opinions. I'm sure if I was sat here with the Craig Greville Hallward, I would be having a different conversation because he would be telling me I'm wrong. However, this is my opinion, my favourite dances, in the order I wanted to rank them in. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I love looking back at all the dances Harvey has done. I'm so, so proud of him. I would like to see the percentages of the voting because I genuinely think Harvey really, really deserved to win. He worked really hard and he was a clear favorite from the start and I genuinely did think he was gonna win. But when Santa won, wasn't very happy that Santa won. However, I've just got to live with it. Santa's just got a vibe. Really sad that I don't get to watch him every Saturday anymore, but I'm really, really proud of how far he's come. And I followed Harvey for like three or four years now. Like I've loved him for a very long time. I've seen him live, I think four times. And he is just one of the most incredible, most talented, most amazing people I've ever seen slash met because I have met him. And I just love him so much and I'm so, so proud of him. But anyway, that is the end of this video. Thank you so, so much for watching all the way through to the end. I really appreciate it if you did. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Give, feel free to give me any more suggestions or even if you want me to rank anything else, just let me know in the comments and I will be sure to have a go at it. Remember to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell to be notified every single time I upload a video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.